I've never seen a giant Atronach like this. I don't even think my powers are affecting it in any way. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Serana, we found all five of those yours. We should now be able to get into the inner sanctum. Come on. I mean, is it my imagination or is there something up there? What? Is that a, a giant with an axe? This was the Ebony Giant? Look at this. Releases a blast spell with side power attacks. Conjure Ebony Giant. Staff of the Ebony Giant. Summons an Ebony Giant, okay. Well... I'll leave that for someone else. So we pour the water here. Is anything happening? Okay, looks like it's filling. It's glowing. It's unlocking. sort of a frost spell that's active in here. He's <gasps> oh no! Oh, what? 
whatever it is, it's we're able to attack. Almost monarch. Have you ever seen anything like this? We did it. Hmm. Ice Blade of the Monarch releases Ice Blade with power attacks. So we can conjure that if we want to. Alright, Aquamarine Staff Ice Explosion. We'll probably sell that. Alright! What other surprises are in store? Who is this? Are we... Elven Sword of Power Unfettered. Where'd oh! Skeleton. That's like the weakest thing in here. Scroll of Blizzard. So I bet if I take anything... Search Frost Monarch. Already searched it. A jade dragon. So, do I need to activate this? Uh, okay, it didn't do anything, but bless me. Can we go through now? Just seeing if they have anything valuable. Ice spikes, okay. Necklace of minor health. An elven war axe. breathing. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Get ready. said the whole room was gonna come alive. Okay, we, we're, we're, we're okay. Alright, Serana, this way. Alright. Oriel's Chapel. Come on.
right, it looks like that's Arch Curate Verther up there. I'm not sure how powerful he is. Alright, I think I'm gonna rely on flames. Talking about me? Or me? Which I don't know. Okay. you come down here and fight us? What? Oh! 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 Saron, are you okay? Enough, Arthur. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl! I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire, but Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire, and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? 
A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Oh, he's dead. That certainly didn't take much. A Daedric Dagger of Winter. Hmm, interesting. Titanite. I think this would look good in the, muse the museum. I've never seen a set of armor like that. I'm sorry, I'm sure that's being disrespectful, but I am a relic hunter after all. Come on. Gelabor? So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. Oh, you're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Is... is that Oriel's bow? like our way home. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. It's shinier than I was expecting. It was glowing. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. All right, so what do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, oh. he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. Alright, if we do, if we face him, we'll have to kill him. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... it's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No, this has to end here and now. Alright, then let's face him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. All right. Now, before we go... You... If there's anything at all I can help you with, please ask. Oh, can you come with us? I'm gonna need your assistance to stop the tyranny of the sun. I'd be more than happy to help. Okay. I trust you're faring well. What will happen to the Chantry now? Why it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory. That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I've contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. 
It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. What will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. What can you tell me about Auriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Auriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Verther said something about using blood? Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. How do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. I didn't know I had elven arrows. Can can I get some more? I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows okay. if you want me to produce didn't think the sun I had that arrows. many. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. All right. Can the betrayed ever be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them? Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Wow, that's so sad. Huh? Alright, so you're coming with us then, it looks like. May Oriel light our path. All right, let's go, everyone. Well, where do these portals go? To the Shrine of Learning? Radiance? I guess we have to go back to, uh... Darkfall Cave. Come on. I was kind of hoping there would be a portal back to, uh, Fort Dawnguard. time you've seen the light of day. All right, let's see. All right, it's time for us to return to Fort Dawn Guard and make our final preparations. All right, come on. Let's go.